includes juice. So we're gonna take our pineapple, we take the outer layer of the peel off, but we leave the core. The core of the pineapple actually contains about 80% of the bromelain. Now bromelain is gonna aid in the digestion process. It's going to act as an anti-inflammatory for our bodies, and it's a brain food. Now we all know that salad's good for us, right? So we're gonna keep the green on the strawberries. Great phytonutrients and more vitamin C is actually found in that green hull of the strawberries. We're actually gonna pulverize the strawberry seeds. So this is a great drink and a great machine to use for patients who are normally not able to have seeds. We're gonna take the outer skin of the banana off. Now, we can keep these skins and the peels and the rinds that I'm discarding, and later we can save these. We can actually put them in the craft with water, and we can make a compost smoothie that's great for your garden and your house plants. So we can utilize everything. We are gonna get some orange. Take the outer peel off of the orange. Now the orange actually contains, uh, the peel of the orange actually contains acids and oils that our body just cannot digest or process. So we're gonna leave that out. But notice that I'm leaving that white part of the orange on. That's the pith of the orange. 80% of the nutrition is found there along with your flavonoids. Three times the amount of the vitamin C is actually found in that pith. So when you know that you get your vitamin C from the orange, it's just what part of the orange are you eating and getting your vitamin C from? You wanna leave that pit. It's a nice, healthy balance between our sugar and our fiber. So we've got all of that pith on there. Now when we juice, and people juice things, they put it through an extractor, they're extracting glucose water. Your body recognizes that as sugar water and you're throwing away all your health and your money. So that's why we believe in using whole foods and keeping that a whole foods fruit juice. Now we're gonna add some ice here. The purpose of adding the ice to our drink is to make it a cold drink. This same machine, in just a minute I'm gonna show you, will make a hot soup. It's absolutely fantastic. We've got three pre-programmed settings here on the 6300. We've got our on and off switch down here at the bottom. When your blue LED light is on, you're ready to go. You've got the three most common uses, your smoothie, frozen dessert, and hot soups. Put on a pre-programmed time setting, so it takes all the guesswork out of it for the user. We're gonna come over here to our smoothie setting and press start. All right, every Vitamix comes with this stick. This stick is called a tamper. It's a patented design, exclusive to Vitamix. You can see that they're able to push all those items down into the blade. It indicates that the cycle's done, and as you can see, we are ready to have this nice four fruit whole foods juice, full of all our fiber, all our minerals, no added sugars needed at all. It's gonna be nice and silky and smooth. To any of our smoothies or our whole foods juice, you can add protein powders, flax seed, hemp hearts, whatever you're trying to have in your diet, you just add it right in. Then we're gonna make a green smoothie, or a green um, sorbet. I like to call it gourmet sorbet, but a lot of times people name it fun things for kids like Tinkerbell and Shrek. So go ahead and give that a try. Right. Y'all come join us. Oh, yeah, that we're out, oh, we no. ran out. You just drink that one. Be tougher than the cup. Now this is how easy it is to clean your Vitamix. Everybody knows that doing dishes is no fun. So Vitamix created the Vitamix really easy to clean. So you just put a couple cups of water and a little drop of soap in here, put your lid on. I bring it over to the high setting right here and I actually let that soapy water circulate throughout the carafe. That's all there is to it, no removable parts. Now all you do is you just rinse out your container. You're ready for the next item. The blades are a titanium stainless alloy. They are laser cut at the factory and our factory is in Cleveland, Ohio. They never need to be resharpened. It's actually the horsepower of this machine, two horsepower. We've got a Whole Foods fruit juice here. 
Now we are going to make our gourmet sorbet. How are you guys doing? Good. This is white grape juice. I'm putting one cup. I've got cups and ounces on one side of my craft and I've got milliliters and liters on the other. So to this, we are going to add half a banana for our potassium. Our fiber is also going to act as a nice creamer for our sorbet as well as bind it together. I'm going to take a little bit of some lemon here. Lemons and limes are different than our oranges. We are able to use the peel of the lemons and the limes. A little bit goes a long way, so it adds a real nice burst of flavor. And then for my favorite ingredient, we like to call this magic grass. It's really spinach. <laughs> Just take a nice handful of that and put it in there. And then we're going to add our ice. So the ratio when you're doing frozen desserts is three to one. One cup of a liquid to three cups of ice or frozen fruit. This is a high fiber, low calorie dessert. Very refreshing, guilt free. I absolutely love it. This time we're gonna come and turn our dial over here to frozen desserts. We press start. So first of all, it's blending and chopping and grinding up all of these ingredients. Smart Blend technology actually is taking over and it knows when to back off power or supply more power to keep a consistent blend. Once again, I've got my camper. I can actually press all those items down to the blade. You can see how all the nice texture has changed to a solid green. Rupturing those foods, opening up all those live enzymes. And again, that blue light down here will start to blink, and when that does happen, then you know that your cycle is almost done, and the machine will turn off for you. Oh, it's our gourmet sorbet. You're gonna love it. We call it ice cream for the kids. Tinkerbell, Shrek. There we go, frozen dessert. In a matter of seconds. All healthy, high fiber, low calorie. Make me grow one. It's gonna make you run <laughs> circles around the yard. Here we go. This is the most versatile machine that you could actually own in your house. As far as an appliance, it replaces your mixer, your blender, your juicer, your ice cream maker, and a food processor. I'm gonna show you next how nice we can chop some items as if we were using a food processor. This is why chefs choose this machine worldwide because of the versatility and the dependability. You get a seven year warranty when you purchase your uh, Vitamix. That's a complete warranty as well. Get some ice cream there. Give that a try. Once again, we're gonna do our quick clean up here. Doing the dishes with the Vitamix is no problem at all. There we go. Let that soapy water circulate throughout. And then rinse. Anybody would like to come and try a green sorbet? They're delicious. Now our carafe is a BPA-free co-polyester. So it mimics glass. It's not going to hold any odors or cross-contaminate any flavors. That's our wonderful gourmet sorbet there. All right. Would you like to try an ice cream, ma'am? Oh, it's yummy. All right, we're taking our celery. We've got our carrots here. And then we're gonna get our cabbage. So this is the start to a great coleslaw. Cabbage is also a great cancer cell inhibitor. So we're definitely gonna wanna add some cabbage here. And then after we do our chopping, and I show you the start to a coleslaw, we're gonna actually turn this into a nice hot soup. So we've got two options when it comes to chopping. 
On this side of the dial where you see the numbers, that's our variable control. That allows us to decide how fine or coarse we want the items that we're chopping. One is a coarse chop, and then as you dial down, the items will become finer. So we're gonna start on about a one. I've got a pulse switch here. This allows me to be in control of just how much chopping I do. So think about your nuts for a dessert. If I wanna do a continuous chop, I can press the start feature. Everything's being drawn down into that blade. We're not gonna have a problem with items being mushy. As you can see, I can take my tamper and I can push all those items down to the blade to have a very nice, uniform, consistent, professional chop. You can even put your cooked meats in here. So think about chicken salad, chopped pork, all those types of items. We can do all our own hummus and guacamole right out of this machine. Absolutely fantastic. Come and join us. We've got a nice, healthy dessert. This is a sorbet, and then we've got a four fruit whole foods juice. There you go. It's okay, we'll get it. So let's take a look at our chop here. So in just a matter of seconds, we have a very nice, beautiful chop. For a coleslaw, you could add two tomatoes to this and start making a pico de gallo. All of the recipes come in this wonderful cookbook right here. That is part of the package. We're gonna dump those items back in there and we're gonna turn those ingredients into a soup now. Very easily. Gonna take a Roma tomato. Take a little bit of some onion here and garlic. Got my garlic here. And then we've got our onion. Did you guys enjoy that? He said it's better than an ice cream cone. That rocks. Mom, you will love to know what's in there. and a banana and lime and ice and white grape juice. Excellent. Yes. I did good, didn't I? You did. Thank yeah. you. All right, I love to hear it out of the mouth of babes. So we're gonna add a Southwest Spice Blend. This is gonna be a tortilla soup that we're making. You get to be creative when you own a Vitamix. You can add or take away any ingredients have a little fun. Utilize things you have in your kitchen. You can nickname this soup the must-go soup. Anything that's in the fridge that must go, we're gonna throw it in, right? Make it healthy. So I'm gonna use my celery here for a little spoon. Now this is some better than bouillon chicken stock. It's organic. And then we're gonna add some water. Now I'm gonna use preheated water the purpose of my preheated water is to speed my demonstration up. We're gonna go back on our pre-program side here. And as I mentioned, those are timed cycles. So the soup cycle runs approximately five minutes. So using some preheated water is gonna speed the demonstration up here. Notice we don't have any steam coming out at this moment. So we're gonna come and place our dial on the soup setting and we're gonna press start. So what happens first is that we're actually blending and chopping and grinding up all of these ingredients, okay? Then it's going to speed those RPMs up as you hear it doing now, and that is bringing those blades at spinning over 240 miles an hour. So imagine rubbing your hands together, that centrifugal friction is actually what is liquefying all of our vegetables and generating the heat for our soup. Anything that we put in at this moment will become part of our broth. So this is why I was saying, call it your must-go soup. Start looking through that refrigerator and picking out anything that must go and throw it in here. Make it part of your broth. So after your soup or while your soup is running, you can be getting anything that you want to have as texture. Pre-cooked meat, steamed vegetables, rice, those type of items we can add after our soup cycle has run. Now in the cookbook, they talk about probably 30 different soup recipes. You can also do all your dips and your spreads and your sauces, all your frappuccinos, your cocktails. This machine is used in over 100,000 different commercial locations. So Taco Mat, Smoothie King, Jamba Juice, Planet Smoothie. They love the Vitamix. If you watch any of the culinary cooking shows like Iron Chef and Hell's Kitchen, Rachel Ray, even Dr. Oz, they 
talk about the Vitamix machine. They know how wonderful it is. This replaces all the need for all the other items in your kitchen. You can get rid of your juicer, your ice cream maker, your blender, your food processor, and you can have one fabulous appliance right at your fingertips. We use ours approximately two to three times a day. We make all our fresh almond milk and rice milk, peanut butter, almond butter, hummus, and guacamole. Fabulous. So this is Central Fugal Friction at work creating a nice, healthy gourmet soup. All made from fresh ingredients. Very healthy. We're making tortilla soup. Huh? Yes, it's going to be fabulous. That's right. They are fabulous machines. Once people have them, they keep them on average 20 plus years. You get a seven year warranty when you buy the Vitamix. That's the full warranty. It covers you entirely. In fact, Vitamix will actually pay to have it shipped to them if they need to repair. So we'll get this ready. Yes, you can feel it. There's not a heating element in here. It's just the friction and the speed and the power of the machine at work. Two horsepower motor, 1400 watts. And then after we enjoy our tortilla soup, we're going to make a chocolate ice cream. We're making a tortilla soup right now with the vitamins. It's all fresh ingredients. So we're going to suppose that it's run for the allotted amount of time. This is a time cycle at home. It'll run for five minutes, okay? And then it will automatically turn itself off. Now I want you to get a close look at this. Do you see the steam? But now we've generated the heat. That's from the friction of the blade. Nope, no fruit was in this one. We've got, that one was a dessert, a gourmet sorbet. Good. This has, this one has carrots, onions, celery, garlic, cabbage. Now we're adding some spinach for our texture. If I had pre-cooked meat, I would add it at this moment as well. And then I've got some gluten-free chips. We're going to add that instead of some crackers. Great way to use the crumbs at the bottom of the bag. Just add that to your soup. I know it. That's right. We need this machine. You get the cookbook. Absolutely. Now two different ways that we can stir these items through. We're on our soup setting. So I can take my pulse flip it one time it's broken those pieces up or if I want to do a slow continuous stir then I just it is but it's better than a blender blenders blend and chop this just makes hot soups it makes ice cream peanut butter it does everything wait till you try, taste the freshness of this gourmet soup absolutely fabulous a meal for yourself or your family in minutes I did not use the fruit, but I did use carrot, celery, onion, garlic, tomato. And it warmed it up. It did. The blades spin at 240 miles an hour. And that's what generates the heat and also liquefies all of our vegetables. So it's all fresh ingredients. It's going to be fabulous. Yes, it's a soup, tortilla soup. Now, the longer you let it run, the hotter it will get. And here's how we're going to do the dishes. Don't you love that? I love that too. Okay. That's right. We will. So we're going to do the dishes and then we're going to make an ice cream. Hi, girls. That's all there is to clean in the Vitamix. A little soapy water and turn it on high. Rinse it out and you're ready to go. I'd like to show you too, I find this very important. I like to show my customers that the base of the carafe is a titanium stainless alloy. You will also notice that is on the base of your machine. So no plastic components or any gears that are gonna break. All right, this is a soup. Now we're gonna make an ice cream. All right, for fun and for ease and convenience, I'm gonna use a coffee creamer. I like the International Delight coffee creamer. 
because it's gluten-free, lactose-free, and trans-fat-free. This also comes in a lot of different flavors. So one cup of our French Vanilla International Delight Creamer. And if I added three cups of ice, this would be French Vanilla Ice Cream. So you can build off of that. So I'm gonna add a banana. If I had some ripe avocados, I really love to add avocados to ice cream. It's a great source of all of our good fats that our bodies need, and avocados are a superfood. Today we're gonna add our bananas along with some chocolate. It's also a great thing to do after you make homemade peanut butter is to make yourself a nice ice cream or a milkshake and utilize the rest of the peanut butter that's in the craft. So these are 51% cacao chocolate chips. It's gonna give a nice texture to our ice cream and give us some antioxidants from the dark chocolate. And then we're gonna just use some Nesquik. You could also use hot chocolate, cocoa powder, whatever type of chocolate that you prefer. Makes it really simple and easy as you saw with the green sorbet. Now we're doing an ice cream. So two cups should be sufficient. Hi. And then once again, when we're doing our frozen desserts, it's a one to three ratio. So we've got our one cup of liquid. Now we need our three cups of ice. We're making your favorite, ma'am, chocolate ice cream. All right, here we go. Place our lid on, and we're gonna come to our frozen dessert setting right here and press start. This machine is the only machine out there that can handle the ice make frozen margaritas and daiquiris and handle the ice cream. So, I'm gonna get my tamper ready. I leave my black lid on and I just take the clear top off and I'm able to access and push all those items down into the blade. down through that center vortex so that it can hit the blade several times it spits it out through the side and recirculates down through the top once again with our automatic pre-program settings it will turn off all right so we're ready to enjoy our chocolate banana ice cream As you can see, you can create many different creations here. You can have your own, what I like to call Dairy Queen blizzards at home. Any of the leftovers can be stored in an airtight container and uh, left in the freezer until ready to be eaten. So we've got a nice soft serve chocolate banana ice cream here. Where did my customer go? We are right here. Uh-huh. Let's make a green lemonade. So do you have a favorite so far? So far. All right, doing the dishes. <laughs> Got a chocolate ice cream. Chocolate banana ice cream. Now, depending on what you've actually made will depend on how long you want to let your Vitamix run on clean. You can actually turn it on one of your time cycles and let that soapy water run. So if I've made like a peanut butter or a guacamole or hummus and I've got a lot of things stuck to the side, I'll actually take my cleaning water and turn it on my soup cycle, let it run for the complete five minutes and it's actually going to generate that heat and help get all the items off my carafe. So we're gonna make a, a green lemonade now. We've all had pink lemonade and yellow lemonade. What's special about our green lemonade is this spinach and kale. Never can have enough greens in our diet. So we're going to take our apple and our pineapple. Once again, I've prepared the pineapple by taking the outer skin off, but I'm leaving the core of the pineapple intact. 
So we're going to place that in there. And take a good slice of lemon. Depending on how, lot, how tart you like your lemonade will depend on how big of a piece you want to use and how much of that peel you want to keep on. Why did you leave the core of the pineapple? The core of the pineapple contains the bromelain, which is anti-inflammatory. It aids in your digestion and it is a brain food. So the core of the pineapple is 80% of all that nutrition in the pineapple. Usually we throw them away in most cases. Most cases people do throw them away because it's very tough to chew. But here in the Vitamix, the Vitamix liquefies it, so it has no problem, and we're getting all those benefits nutritionally. Awesome. So we're gonna, it will even, as you notice, this lemon might have a few seeds in it. It's even gonna pulverize the seeds. Do we need the seed too? We're gonna leave the seed, and we're gonna leave the seed from the apple as well. Do we need the seed from the lemon? Yes, we are. Really? Yes. Now look, notice here, I've got my apple. I'm going to put the whole core of the apple, everything in there. The seeds actually contain vitamin B17. That's laetrile. Laetrile is a natural cancer fighter. So we are going to keep the whole apple. We believe in using as much of the whole food as possible, including the skin. So we're getting it the way that it was intended for our bodies. All the fiber, the vitamins, and the minerals. We're making a green lemonade. Now, since we're having everything as a whole food, we're having a lot of fiber. So if we want to thin down our whole foods juice, we can do that by adding white grape juice, apple juice, or coconut water. To this particular recipe, I think I'm gonna add some coconut water. That way we can get our five electrolytes. That's really important for us. We've got our potassium, our magnesium, our calcium, our phosphorus, and our sodium, all contained right here. Where do you buy the coconut water? You can buy that here, absolutely. So we're gonna add about a half a cup of our coconut water to our green lemonade. And then to sweeten it up, we can add some dates. Dates are a great natural sweetener as an option. Now there's other things you can use as far as like agave, stevia, or honey. So any of those items will be a great natural sweetener. So we're gonna add about four dates. I've got one chocolate ice cream up here calling for somebody. It's melting. Right here. Yeah, it's nice. a banana chocolate ice cream made in the Vitamix. Now you just got to be tougher than the cup because we ran out of spoons. But here's the napkin for you. You're welcome. And we're going to add our ice to chill our green lemonade. Have you guys ever experienced the Vitamix before? Yes. They're fabulous. Makes it very user-friendly because we've got three pre-programmed time settings here. So you can come right here to your smoothie, press start, and now we're off and running to make our whole food juice with our spinach. And I've got this camper that allows me to be able to force all these items down to the blade. We're liquefying everything. The core of the apple, the seeds of the apple, the spinach that's in here, pineapple with the core, you can actually see as everything's being liquefied right here, it aids in your digestion because your body is not pulling on more stomach acid to break this food down. The Vitamix has done it for you. The blue light down here will actually start to flash. That indicates when you're using the pre-programmed settings, the machine's going to turn off for you. Yeah. As you can see, so no more guessing, no more babysitting. It frees us up to finish getting ready for work or school and we're ready to enjoy our nice green lemonade. It's gonna be good stuff. This is actually my favorite drink. I have this every day. That little amount too, just yielded us 32 ounces, 32 ounces. So that was a handful of spinach, one slice of pineapple, a small slice of lemon, a whole apple, and about half a cup of coconut water and the four dates. So let's go ahead and enjoy this. Great micronutrition here. You can actually control the consistency of your uh, whole foods juice. If you wanted a little bit thinner, you would just add a little bit more liquid. Let me know what you guys think. If it's too tart for you, you could back down on the size of the lemon. 
That's good. It is good. I love it. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Yes. Spinach and kale. I just ran out of kale, but kale is the most nutritious food per calorie we can actually put in our bodies. You're welcome. That's going to keep you going for the rest of the day, isn't it? I've got to say cheers and enjoy this too. I see it's one of your favorites. Yes. Mm, I love it. Love, love, love it. So this is how easy it is to clean the Vitamix. Vitamix new, people do not like to do dishes. So our blade is sealed. We don't have soapy water. Oh, in this one, you like it, don't you? It, he likes it. It's a handful of my magic grass. Okay. Yes. And then, yep, it's one whole apple. Okay. It's a slice of lemon with the rind. So I did a good, yep, okay. the rind of the lemons and limes are good and it's a more intense flavor of the fruit. So a little bit goes a long way. Okay. So I did about that size. Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. And then a slice of the, the pineapple without the rind, but I left the core intact. Okay. And then we used the coconut water and I did about half a cup of that and then four dates. Okay. I never even thought about using dates. Either. You like that, buddy? I get a thumbs up. Awesome. You rock. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> all right, so we're doing the dishes. That's all there is to that. Now we just rinse. That's why we love the Vitamix, because everybody loves what we can do with the Vitamix. Thank you. You're welcome. So mom, I've got another recipe. It's an ice cream that I think that you'll really enjoy. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So we're gonna start with our white grape juice, okay? So we're gonna make a sorbet. Okay. I'm gonna do one cup. This time we're gonna switch it up. I'm gonna do lime. Okay. I just love lemons and limes because you can use the peel and a little bit goes a long way. It really just adds a nice burst of flavor. It's really light and refreshing as well. Yes, yes. And you know what? Lemons and limes are really low on the acidic level, on the acidity chart. You wouldn't think so. I thought they were acidic until I, I researched further. So they really help keep your body alkaline. And you know, as fighting diseases in a natural, healthy way, we wanna keep our bodies alkaline because unhealthy things cannot live in an alkaline state. So. We're gonna add half a banana here. The banana is gonna give us our fiber and our potassium, but it's also gonna act as a binder for our sorbet. It's gonna add a nice creamy consistency as well. Now, what about letting him see my magic? <laughs> you got a little magic here. And then I have to add my ice. So remember when you're doing frozen desserts, it's a three to one ratio. So one cup of my liquid to three cups of ice or frozen fruit. Oh, we're making a yummy treat here, buddy. I'm making ice cream. Yeah. So we're gonna come to frozen dessert setting and press start. We're blending and chopping and grinding up all of our ingredients. Those RPMs are gonna speed up. Oh, I see a smile. You're excited, huh? Right. 
We ready? We got an ice cream here. You want to go first? Okay, open up wide. Open your mouth. <laughs> I'm teasing. Where are you going to put it in a cup? <laughs> he wasn't falling for it. So this is our gourmet sorbet. Tinkerbell loves it. Shrek and Hulk and Peter Pan. They all love this recipe. Let's try this. Three cups of ice or frozen fruit. And you're welcome. So today my nice friend Kingsley's here. He's making me famous. <laughs> you're welcome. Do you love it? Do I get a thumbs up? Nice. Yes. You like it with the lime? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You're welcome. So Always the, glad to share some recipes with friends. So the other time you use a cranberry instead of lime? The, switch the two? Yes. Lemon and lime, just switch them up. You can also switch up the flavor by adding mint and basil. Those add nice bursts of flavor to anything green as well. What do you think, ladies? Isn't that yummy? Do you like the lime? in there yeah what about my little man you like it too all right yeah you're my new buddy thank you <laughs> well good enjoy and now they're kid approved <laughs> experiment yes <laughs> that's a gourmet sorbet it's ice cream here you go yes how'd you know <laughs> I just <can> imagine. <laughs> Did I have vegetables written all over my face? No, you had the trick. Aha, uh -huh, yes. No, no, no fruit is green like this. Thing. Apples? No, no. Like <laughs> tell, tell, tell them what you said with the pineapple. The pineapple. When we use the You'll pineapple, guys, yes, because you have pineapples. <laughs> do you leave the core in there or do you take it out? Uh, leave the core because there's a lot of nutrients in there. Yay! You've been here before, hadn't you? <laughs> <laughs> you have a Vitamix? Uh, no, I'm, I want to get one though. All right. Well, today's right now, your special day. I got a Lelaine, uh, the, Juicer. Uh, the, uh, the, Jack Lelaine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but I want to trade it in and get there. Yeah. That's right, because you know you're leaving out all your pulp and your fiber when you're juicing, so you want this so you, absolutely. You, you, the outside, right? you can use the whole thing if you right. do a vegetable wash, like vinegar wash. Yes, because believe it or not. The outside rind of the yeah. pineapple contains cellulose and hemicellulose, right. which is a great oxidator and blood cleanse blood cleaner for your blood. We just don't do it here in our demonstrations because somebody okay. out there is going to try to argue with me and sure. my purpose is not to argue with sure. people. Sure. So, sure. but yes. We like bacteria. That, that, that lemon. That, <laughs> Isn't that nice? Yeah, that that one's a lime nice. actually. Really? Yes, yeah. that was the lime. Aha. Uh -huh. yeah. It's good. Yes. Yeah, it's nice. So we got four color choices. We're here till the 24th. Black, white, this is our platinum and we have red. So today's the family's lucky day. Everybody say Vitamix. Vitamix. <laughs> well, just colors. Just colors. Yeah, so one to match everybody's kitchen, you know? That way there can't be an excuse. See? I know. You can rub it, Mama. That's okay. Just rub it. Say, we love you, Vita. That's good. We come and we see this. I can't. There's no waste with it. I know. That's right. You will have a Vitamix. That's and we will be here for you. 92 years of business. Four ninety nine here. While we're here, there's six forty nine outside of Costco. Yes. So don't buy it anywhere else. We wouldn't be buying it nowhere else. Yep. Costco has the best price. April, what did you say about this banana? It's not overripe. It is not overripe. And y'all know that, right? No, it's not overripe. See? It's not spoiled. It is not spoiled. How black it is. No, no that's, that's, that's when it's turning not, to sugar. Right, it's very sweet. Yes. It's like that. Very sweet. Yes. I watched a cooking show. <laughs> no, it's I, so no. soft. And, yes, and, but no. No, we're grateful we, when you're cooking, cooking and using it because it's very, very sweet. If you're making a custard, nice. a banana bread, a banana pudding, anything like that, and I promise you, because I watched a cooking show, and the woman was using her Vitamix, but yeah. no, she was not, you know, sitting here promoting it. She never even said the word, but... 
you know, I saw it, I knew what it was. And she was using bananas that were totally black. Wow. So black that, that she could squeeze them out of the peel. And wow. she said that that was the only bananas that she used for her custard because of the flavor and the sweetness. Wow. And she had to add less sugar, and that's a natural sugar. Yes. Wow. Yes. Purpose. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Yeah, he wanted that on film for sure, because it was cute. Yesterday, he said, you're using rotten bananas. I said, no, these are good. <laughs> these are what I like. Look, I have my green bananas down here. I will, I will take my rotten bananas and put them with my green one in a brown paper bag to help ripen them. Yes, I do not want to eat bananas like this. Bye, guys. Yes. <laughs> Let's make one more thing before y'all leave. We're going to make a creamsicle ice cream. What do y'all think? You remember creamsicles back in the day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You like those? Yeah. All right. So let's do the dishes. Y'all like doing dishes? But if you did it that way, you'd like it, right? Yeah. See? I know. Just a little bit of soapy water. Turn it on high. It circulates throughout the craft. The blades are sealed, okay? So what that means is they're not removable. The bottom base of our carafe is a titanium stainless alloy. Same connector to the base of your machine. So you will not be breaking and stripping gears like other models. Won't name any because I'm on video, so I don't want to bad mouth anybody. But other models out there, when you go and check, you look, they're plastic, okay? So over time, they're gonna break and strip. That's a titanium stainless alloy. That same um, blend of alloy is what the blades are made of, okay? The blades actually are laser cut at the factory and they are dull like a butter knife. So I can actually take my fingers and rub on there and will not cut myself. All right, it's the speed and the power and the friction of the machine that does the work. Two horsepower machine. Does that mean something to you? It's powerful. It's powerful. <laughs> That's more than your weed eater. All right, we can use this for a trolley motor. So let's make our ice cream. Now for your milk beverage, you can use whatever you want. I like to tell people that if you use a milk, whether it's you know whole milk or low skim milk or an almond milk, it's going to be more like an ice milk consistency. That's not a problem, but I just like people to know. If you want an ice cream, you're going to want to use like a coffee creamer or a half and half or a coconut milk creamer. Okay? Yes. Oh, she has, they got coconut milk creamers. They have that's coconut good. milk creamers, and that's much healthier. They just don't sell that here. Okay. But if you go to a grocery store or Whole Foods, you can find that. So we're going to use one cup of our French Vanilla International Delight Creamer. Now, I yep, there's cups and ounces right here, milliliters and liters right here. So these little girls right here, young ladies, they can become chefs, and they don't need mom and dad's help. So. Teach them right from the beginning. Everybody can be healthy. All right. So we're gonna take our orange and we're gonna take the outer layer of the orange peel off. Do you know what they use this orange peel for? Limit uh, zest. Um, well, you can use small amounts for zest, right. but really they use it for cleaners. You know, have you heard of citrus cleaners, right, right, air right, right, fresheners, yeah, right. and bug repellent. So that's why we're not gonna put all this in our body. A little bit won't hurt us, but all of this um, peel has acids and oils that our body cannot digest or process. It's also flammable. So with dad's permission and supervision, you can take the peel at home and take a lighter to it and it will flame. Mm -hmm. wow. Nice little science experiment for yourself. Yeah. Oh, that's a great yeah, yes. Oh, wow. All right, so we're gonna put that in there. If the orange had seed, would you take it out? If the orange has seeds, I leave the seeds because we pulverize them, okay? So everything will be liquefied. And here's what you guys are getting at home with your juicer, which you probably already know this. That's why you wanna to upgrade to the Vitamix. You're extracting and that's all you're doing and you're throwing away all of this. Now, I didn't mention this. This white part of the orange, the pith, contains three times the amount of the vitamin C as this part or any of the juice that you've just extracted. So we wanna keep a healthy balance to our diet. We're going to add our banana here. I do that for just the creamy consistency that's going to give our ice cream. Why not get some more potassium and fiber too? And then some ice. So three to one ratio when you're doing your frozen dessert. Okay? Whoops. No strawberry. 
I'm not going to do strawberries in this one since we're doing more like a creamsicle, uh -huh. okay? But when you're at home, my Whatever gosh, you it, you're, you're exactly right. Your imagination is your limitation. Yes. Because really, as long as you've got that one cup of whether it's a juice or a milk, you can create anything. And I always recommend to people, buy your fruit when it's in season, prepare and freeze it. So when it's peach season, I put my peaches up in the freezer and at, in the winter I can have peach ice cream, yeah. fresh peach ice cream. Yes. So we're going to come to frozen desserts and press start. Are you guys excited? Yeah. So we're actually blending and chopping everything right now. This particular Vitamix has what we call smart blend technology. That means it actually has a sensor that detects the load. So you can hear it ramp those RPMs up as I force things down to that blade. Also, they put the three most common uses on a time cycle. That's why you girls can become chefs at home. You can put all the ingredients. That's why this machine is so user friendly because the girls can put their ingredients in their machine in the right ratio and proportion. They come to the dial, they turn it on, it's going to turn off. That blue light can start to flash. That indicates when you're using the pre program settings, the machine is going to turn off for you. Is the light blinking? And voila. So your three most popular uses they put on a pre-programmed setting. Very, very user friendly. Now, of course, you've still got your manual side and that allows you to do all your food processing and your creative side. So if you're wanting to chop nuts, coleslaw, cooked meats like your chopped pork, chicken salad, peanut butters, all those items. So we've got a nice, delicious creamsicle ice cream here. Everything is fresh. You can make whatever flavors you like because it's really about a 45 second cycle. Any leftovers can be stored in the freezer. We got more people now. I'm sorry, what? I said we got more people, that may not be enough. Yes, I've got more cups. <laughs> do, 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 they okay. make, do they make different types? Because are, are there some that you can just press like a soup button or press like a at digital those are not ours that's, that's a different a that's vitamix. that's not a vitamix and that's a different company that no longer comes it into costco it is non-dairy okay. lactose free yes yeah, that's, that's okay. yeah. I'm, I'm over a year they they um i don't uh, no 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 you good you good september you're good. one no longer okay here. okay okay yes okay wow thank you no problem let's just go ahead and win it. that was part of the issue because it's digital the motherboard was giving people problems mm -hmm. So we use an analog analog timer. So there you go. Four ninety nine is the price of the Vitamix right here. The package, four ninety nine outside of Costco, six hundred and forty nine dollars. Now with the package price, what you get? First of all, I like to tell everybody seven year warranty. It's a full warranty. Seven years covers you entirely. So at any point in time, if they need to work on your machine, they will actually pay the shipping both ways. They send you a shipping label. You box it up send it to them they repair it in Cleveland Ohio that's where the factory is okay. they're made there as well so it's American made and um, then you get the cookbook as part of the package and then the 64 ounce carafe the lid and the tamper that I was talking about and showing you as okay. long as and this is a good way that you can see right here too as long as the black lid is on it's designed to stop short of hitting that blade yep. okay yep. so that allows me to go corner to corner and push everything down into that vortex so that's wonderful. You will not find this with any other machine. We hold the rights to the um, design, so we have the patent on it. <laughs> you can call it a beat stick, a plunger, a tamper, whatever works. We've heard all kinds of fun names. Did y'all like that ice cream? Yeah, good. So once again, we'll just do the dishes. Yeah. Yeah. Now, commercially, we're used in over a hundred thousand different locations. Yeah. Smoothie King, Jamba Juice, Planet yeah. Smoothie, Starbucks, Starbucks yeah. Dairy Queen, yeah. McDonald's. Believe it or not, the McFlurry machine. Yep, that's Vitamix. Mm -hmm. ah. And then Taco Mac, Carnival Cruise Line, bars and restaurants use us for whole fruit margaritas and daiquiris. And then chefs, of course, use us 
So if you watch yeah, yeah. Iron Chef yeah, and yeah. Rachel Ray, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yep. <sighs> I will be here till the twenty fourth this go round, and then they do bring us back periodically throughout the year. Thank you so much. You're welcome, guys. Great, great Thank great. you. Thank you very much. All right. I think that about wraps it up. Yep. Yep. You did so well. Good. You did so well. I wish I could show other things like how to make peanut butter, but they limit me because of the allergies. Yes. So I'm not able to demonstrate that. Oh. There we go. There you go. All right. I think I'm gonna put this behind it. That, that price is for Costco price. That's right. Costco member price, saving $150. Only for a limited time while we're here, though. Love my job. Good. You travel, get to travel everywhere? I, I do, the southeast. I get to travel the southeast. So I will do this show. I'll be off for a couple days, and then I'll head to East Orlando, Florida. Awesome. Yes, it's nice. I get to experience a lot of different people and a lot of different cultures. Yeah. It's fun. Nice. I bet you this will sell a lot in Orlando. It does. Orlando because does great. North Miami Disney. Beach. Yeah, Disney. Yes, um, yes. Does great in North Miami Beach. Wow. There's a lot of different, it's a very diverse culture down there, and people love the Vitamix. Awesome. We can and they imagine. buy them and they take them home to their countries too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, oh, that reminds me. Is it 220 volt? Is it 110? It's 110. Okay. So if it needs to be 220, they do sell those. I yes. will tell you they are quite a bit more expensive. Okay. Or if you want it, um, just get a you, step can get, down. you can get an inverter. Yeah. You know, just invest in mm -hmm. a good quality mm -hmm. one. Okay. Absolutely. Cool. Cool. Nice. All right, I pray well. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you for giving us the time to video you. Thank you. I appreciate it. If you do need a copy, I gave you my card. Just let me know, and I could okay. made you a CD copy, oh, a DVD copy. Thank you. Yeah, you did so well. Thank you so much. It's nice meeting you. You too. This is Digi Concept Media. Okay. Thank nice. You.